Hey everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins here, and welcome to the live stream. Exciting news for Elite Dangerous today. Oh my god, I'm driving home, I'm on my way to the grocery store to pick up some food so I can get home and relax, and I don't know, do a stream or clean the house or who the heck knows. And lo and behold, what do I see? I see an alien ship that looks awful like a Thargoid ship, or at least what we think the Thargoid ship looks like, interdicting someone, pulling them out of witch space, and scanning them, attacking. I, I, it didn't look like an attack. It scans them. It does some weird thing, glowing green lights and lasers flying out, and then it flies away and leaves a high wake in its path. What? The beep! Okay, so like I really, I've been swearing the whole time in Discord. Like I, I, I have to censor myself now because I'm a little too excited right now. <laughs> they are coming for us! Oh my god! Uh, hey everyone, Commander Snake, uh, Darth Tool, Spooky Lot. Gosh, I can't even barely see my chat because I got to switch it to gaming, uh, YouTube night gaming mode. Hang on, just one second. Let me get the night gaming up here so I can actually see what the hell is going on. Pop up. And there we go. Now I can see the chat. Oh, wow. Okay, so guys, um, yeah, they're here. Well, we don't know. Is it Thargoids? Is it the, the Guardians? We have no idea what is a, a, exactly these things are. Uh, all I know is that something is there. Something is interdicting people, pulling them out of witch space. And we need to go find one of these and see it live for ourselves, which is exactly what we're going to do. In just two seconds here, I'm going to start up my client. Um, I got to figure out what login I got to go under here because I got to go on my alt account. I need to actually get onto an alt account here. Which one is it? This one. Uh, and then we're going to go grab a UA because I think that's kind of what you need is you need to have a UA on you. I think that all the people who have been interdicted by this thing so far have been carrying UAs. So we're going to go get a UA, and then we're going to fly out to somewhere, I guess the Pleiades, um, and see if we can get interdicted by one of these things and have a live encounter on the live stream. It's really exciting. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And maybe we'll actually see some freaking aliens! Oh my god, not just a crash ship, something that's actually moving and, like, doing things. Um, I don't care if it's the exact same encounter that I just seen, like, 15 times while I watch the same video over and over again. I really don't care, as long as we see it. That's all I care about. I just want to see aliens, and I'll be a very happy, happy guy. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to pull up... Uh, where is my Elite Dangerous? There we go. Launch. Uh, I'll leave the thumbnail up just for a second while we get that going. Commander Jack Flames reporting. Well, hello, Jack Flames. And uh, everyone else, Odin, Omen, how's it going? Challenger, David Entz, Hybrid, 2000. I've seen a whole bunch of other names in there, but the chat's scrolling a little too quickly for me right now. So hang on there, guys. We're going to get this started. We are definitely going to go out there and do our very best to find some aliens. And I think we have a very good chance this time. Um, seems like there's quite a few people that have encountered it. General Ghost from the Bro Bar has actually been interdicted by one of these things already, so we have first-hand encounters of this actually happening. We know it's real. It's going to happen, guys. The hype is real. Okay. Uh, Frontier starting up. There's Elite Dangerous. Uh, let's just get this going. I don't know which one I'm looking at right now. Live stream. Oh, there we go. Live stream's up. Why is the YouTube chat not coming up? Oh, darn it. Elite Dangerous? There. Okay. I just got to get the YouTube chat in here, and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, I know there's a better way to do this. I had it in the other one. Oh, hell. You know what? Let's just go to the broadcast overlay. Sorry. It's going to mess up the, uh, the screen here a little bit. I don't have my green screen on. Ah. We'll get this all fixed up in just a second. This is what getting excited does, all right? It makes you do silly things, like not have your uh, your live stream set up properly. And I got to change the overlay now, too. Okay, aliens, you're killing me. Killing me, aliens. Oh, we don't need to see me right now. Let's get that out of there. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think we're good to go. Live stream's up and running. Chat's there. We can see everyone. Woohoo! All right, let's uh, put my joystick on. And 
get the dog off my lap. Thank you, dog. Get the hell out of here. It's alien time. Uh, someone want to do me a favor and uh, give me a sector. Uh, give me a sector in chat as to where the alien crash site was so that I don't have to go look it up. And we could just jump in there and I can go start finding us some aliens right away. Where's my mouse? Come on. Mouse. Start. Open play. I don't know what the hell ship I'm flying right now either. Ooh, I'm flying the keel back. Uh, I don't know what the heck the jump range is on that. Oh, I need a wake scanner? Do I need a wake scanner? Yeah, I probably should bring a wake scanner with me, right? Oh my god. This is exciting stuff here. Super excited. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the day we've all been waiting for. Finally to see some live alien ships. I hope and pray that we can actually do that. Everyone cross your fingers simultaneously. Maybe crossing your fingers will get the aliens to appear right away. Maybe we won't even need a UA in our inventory. Maybe we can just fly out there, log in, and the aliens will come to us in the station. Okay, I'm in a station right now. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I'm in Gupta City. I don't know where the heck that is. Uh, go to Maya. Yeah, I am going to be going to Maya. Can I get a UA in Maya? Ares Dark Region, XU... Okay, so I think that was... I gotta scroll up in the chat here. I'm gonna grab that sector. I'm pretty sure that's the one that we saw in the video. Um, that's the one... Okay, so let me just paste this somewhere. Oh my god. Alien hype's got me flailing all over the place. Um, okay, I need a notepad. Notepad. Okay. That's the sector that Buddy was in, was the Ares Dark Sector. Uh, Elite Alien HIP 17403, is that where the alien crash? I think that is the alien crash site. That, that sector sounds very familiar. Okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see where my exploration ship is, if I have one somewhere. Uh, ship transfer, I must have an ASP Explorer. That's probably going to be the quickest thing to get me out there. I do. It's uh, Nyororor. Nyororor. Let's see how far that is. Maybe I can just jump out there and grab that. Uh, before I do that, though, what is my jump range on this thing? 17 light years. Uh, probably better off going to get the ASP. Let's see where Nyororor is. Nyororor. Nyororor. I can't imagine there's more than one Nyororor. Uh, that's going to be... How far away is that? 189 light years? Jesus, where the hell am I? Uh, okay, let's check HIP 17403. Uh, okay, that's a little further away. That's 400 light years. And I know someone's calling me in the game, but I'm on the galaxy map, so I can't answer that right now. Just bear with me here for a sec, guys. I know it's very exciting. I know it's very, very exciting. Look at all you green dots flying over there to get a UA and get interdicted by aliens. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Who is calling me? Morpheo. No, Minikill. Minikill is requesting voice comms. Hello, Mini. How are you, my friend? I'm online, sir, and I'm outfitting a hybrid uh, exploration and combat anaconda at the moment to join you. Well, that would be fantastic. Maybe you can actually grab um, a... If, uh, a blah, blah. I can't even think right now. I've got aliens on the brain. What the hell do I want? Uh, an interdictor. Grab an interdictor. Maybe you can, like, interdict them before they jump into Super Cruise. And then... How far away is the Pleiades? Uh, it's like 400 light years. Um, I need to go Definitely and... Definitely bring in the Anaconda. Yeah, well, you have, a, you have a good jumping ship there. I need to go somewhere else and grab my ASP because I'm in a 17 light year jump range keel back, and I don't think that's going to get me there very quickly. So I'm going to jump over to Nyoror and uh, see what we could do with this. Hawkins is too high class of an interview. What? <laughs> I don't know what General Ghost is talking about. Don't go in open, Josh. Someone almost destroyed me already. Oh, you know what? That's, yeah. Well, 
I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> I will just jump around. If someone wants to try and destroy me, they certainly can go ahead and try. Uh, okay. Let's see. I've got 17 light year range on this thing. Do I have a fuel scoop? If you want to uh, drag me down. I will. Uh, I'll do that as soon as I have my ship set up here. Let me just go ahead and make sure I have a fuel scoop no on this ship. Swapping and moving modules around from storage. Okay. Optional. No, I don't have a fuel scoop on this ship. You know what I might do is I might just grab a hauler and make a quick, quick jumping ship. Uh, Eagle hauler. There we go. Let's go ahead and buy a hauler. Store current ship. 3C multi cannon says Jack uh, Jack Flames Gamer. Go with a 3C multi cannon. I'm going with Mini. I am going to go with Mini Valdarsh. Yes, absolutely. We're going to take Mini. He's going to protect me against uh, all kinds of interdicting things and stuff and things. I don't think he can protect me against the Thargoids, though. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, if I get killed by Thargoids I on a live stream. Heal beams if you want. Nah. I have we don't actually have to kill the Tharg. I don't think we can kill them, anyhow. Uh, here, Mini, I'm going to drag you down. So if you want to close comms, I'm going to bring you down into the uh, the broadcast live. I'm in outfitting, so I'll just mute my mic until... Okay, okay. mute your mic. Well, you, mute your mic. No, you, you're in you're in Discord broadcast live now, so if you mute your mic, I'm not going to be able to hear you. Uh, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's uh, quickly outfit this ship so we can get the hell out of here. That's what Post we want to do. Closed. Hey, there we go. You sound much better like that. Although I do, yeah. I really like the voice effects that uh, that Elite has for for the comms. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, for sure. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, we don't need this pulse laser. Sell. Bye bye. We gotta quickly outfit this. I have to move so much stuff from my Corvette onto my Anacondas to make it semi combat worthy. Optional internals. Let's go with a. Oops. Browse, we need a fuel scoop. Yes. Oh, wow. 1E fuel scoop. That's the best I can get here. Oh, well. What can you do? We don't need any of this. Oh, no, we don't need that. Shield generator, get rid of it. We're going to strip this thing down just so that we have barely enough to make these jumps. Uh, core Josh, internals. once we get out there... Um... <laughs> Let's just put it this way. I am going to engage if we find one. Well, you can engage. I won't. I'll, I'll just observe. <laughs> so stay behind me in case it nukes me. So at least if I die, I get a good view of my ship blowing up, yeah? Sounds good. <laughs> I'll be recording the whole thing. I have kind of, a bad, kind of a bad feeling, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, I got a bad feeling about this also. I, actually, I got a really good feeling about fitting. this. This doesn't matter. Why Why am I looking at life support? I don't need life support. Uh, 1A power distributor. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Okay. Uh, Sensors. Oh, uh, man. Doesn't matter. I, my anaconda is going to have severely under 61 light year jump range as it normally does. This is going to suck. Uh, you know what? Can I store my lightweight alloys? I wonder if that would actually work. Uh, no, you can't take off armor. No, you can't. Well, you can store them, but it puts the default module back. Yeah, that's that's too bad. Okay, uh, I got 25 light years now. Jump range on this thing because this it's got like really crappy stuff here. Uh, did it keep my my jump route? Yes, it did. That's perfect. I can actually make it all the way to almost all the way to Nyora, where I'll grab my asp. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna start the jump right now. Holy butt sex, says Darth Tool. <laughs> just seeing the encounter uh, in another channel just now looked quite awesome. Yes. Oh, wakes. Well, don't worry, uh, Terraforma. I'm going to grab a wake scanner on the ASP once I go over there. So. You take care of the scanning. I'll take care of the uh, military aspect of this endeavor. Yeah, that's it. All I want is to get there as quickly as possible and to see some live aliens. Oh boy, we're gonna see some aliens. I feel it. We're gonna see some aliens. I got I got a good feeling. I got a bad feeling about about you attacking them, but I got a good feeling that we're gonna actually catch some. Maybe we need a big net. Elite Dangerous, uh, or Frontier Dev, rather, I should say, 
has confirmed that this is all real, and we know that people have been finding them. And uh, in the tweet that Frontier confirmed it in, they said, it's large, it's very large. That's all they're going to say. So the guy was flying a Corvette, and you could see the size of the ship up against the Corvette. I mean, it was a, a bit of a ways off, too, but it was massive. And it, it didn't really look like what I expected it to look like. Um, I'm a little... I'm a little curious what you guys... Oh, yeah, let's let's grab General Ghost in here. He could tell us all about it. Hang on one sec. Uh, yeah, General Ghost, I'm going to drag you down in here. Let me get Discord back up here. Uh, you're getting dragged down now. Hey, General Ghost. Oh, hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, General Ghost has already had an encounter. Can, uh, can you put your mic a bit closer? It's a little hard to hear you. Can you put your mic a little closer to your mouth? Of course. Why, thank you. Sarnia Spartan says, Thargoids! Yes, Thargoids are coming. Uh, actually, I'm, you know what? I'll turn my game sound down, too. That should help a little bit. Oh, I can't do that while I'm in uh, which space. Because uh, my game sounds up a little bit loud. I forgot I turned it back up while I was uh, solo playing the other day. Just recording some footage. So, here we go. General Ghost, tell us what exactly has happened. Tell us your experience. Technically, I was just jumping, you know, in economical route to get the best chances. So I had this plot. I had, like, plotted my plan to go from the middle, like in the UA shell, and from there I go towards the entire Moya and the Blighty sector. And then it just, like, puts in the giant flashing, everything goes, like, error when you get shot a lot and randomly everything turns, like, red and stuff, you know, when you get shot a lot in combat and it writes out something like hyperspace blah 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 compromised or whatever and it's seriously like an interdirection just way more epic so, now were you in between two star systems when you got interdicted and pulled course, directly out of which in, space i was in which space and you get the message and everything turns like the hard turns to red and flashes for a, like maybe a half a minute and then you get pulled out. If that's the case, Josh, we might not be able to get into the same instance if it drops you into a in-between system instance like that. Yeah, I have a feeling that we probably won't, but you never know. I mean, we could, we'll try, right? I, I think what this is, I think it's like a scripted encounter because if you watch the videos, uh, there's three videos now on Reddit uh, where people have actually had this encounter already. And they all appear, even though it's the same guy, uh, they all appear to to sort of activate in the exact same sequence where you get pulled out of witch space. Um, in one, there's like an anaconda attacking him and then there's no anaconda attacking him in the second one. Did you see an anaconda as well? No, I have a new way on board, so I'm guessing it's an NPC pirate. But how would the NPC pirate get pulled out of which space? That's the thing. Like, if the NPC was, pirate's there as well... You, back you know how NPCs... No, you get pulled oh. back to the system where you are when you jump. Oh. So that's how the NPC is still there. Oh, okay, and so they then... jump on you, then put his, like, rambling, like, give me all your cargo or die, and then open fire while you are still disabled by the alien. Okay, so maybe, Mini, then maybe we can do this. If you just stay in the system, and what we'll do is maybe I'll just... We'll, we'll kind of, like, do one jump at a time, you know? And then you stay in the system, and when I get interdicted, if I get interdicted, that is, then you'll just kind of drop, uh, drop in on me at the same time. We can try that and see if you can actually get in there. Because of course I'm recording now, so if it happens again with the UA on board, then I will have a normal video of it. Um, someone's saying the stream crashed. Uh, yeah, you know what? It kind of looks like the stream crashed on on here too. Hang on one sec. No, just uh, just tell them to hit the live button again. That's the problem. Is it the problem? Yeah, um, everyone on the stream just needs to hit the live button again. Well, I'm I'm watching mine and it 
Oh, there it is. There, okay. It's it's not frozen. Oh, no. Hold on. Is it frozen? No, there it goes. It's fine. Okay. Stream's good, guys. No worries. I'm, s I'm still transferring modules back and forth. Okay. Yeah, it's That's back. That's going to take a while. Well, <laughs> uh, the Federal Annihilator is basically getting nerfed to move everything onto the... Uh, onto my... Uh, Jump Wakanda. I don't know if uh, if the next system I jump to, it says, because I, I have low fuel right now, I'm, I might have to make a, a detour on this route just to jump to a star where I can fuel up. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, yeah, I should be able to fuel up on this star. How come they wouldn't let me fuel scoop? What the hell? Let's turn around and go back there. No, I didn't hit a star. Is the stream frozen again? There's there's something wrong with... Okay, folks. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. This is kind of weird. I should be able to, uh, to fuel scoop on here. I don't know why the stream is, uh, is lagging out. Um, can you guys hear me at all? Or is it is it video that's frozen, or is it everything that's frozen? Alien sabotaging your video. Stargoids are are with space interdicting your stream, Josh. Uh, it's working for me perfectly. Okay. Well, I I'm watching it on uh, I'm watching it on my little YouTube channel here, and I can actually see that uh, I think it's just because there's so many people like for all the elite dangerous people are all signing in right now. Guys, 124 viewers right now. Uh, a little bit more than that, actually. We got 151 on right now, so uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it at all. But if you find the stream is lagging, just make sure you hit the live button on there. Or put it on low resolution. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I wasn't able to to fuel scoop that star. It is maybe it was a T Tauri star. No, I don't think so. It's because an M. Because there are ones that look like M plus stars. No, it's an M. It's an M class. It's a it's a dwarf star. Oh, you know why? I'm I'm stupid. That's why. You no know fuel scoop. Uh, no, I fuel have scoop fuel scoop. On? I was looking at the wrong system. I was looking at the next system <laughs> on the jump. <laughs> Not the one that I'm actually at right now, because I'm a newbie. Josh. There's Josh, Josh Newkins the right there. Josh, uh -huh. we all make mistakes. Don't feel too bad. Oh. <laughs> Another pirate. Even the great and powerful Mini makes mistakes. <laughs> hey, I never made a mistake like that ever. <laughs> Bullshit, sir. You play Elite, you mess up something simple more than once, w and then you're like, damn it. Of course I ran into the... Cliffs a few times with fighters. I, I, hey, Don Branham, thanks, by the way. I just saw uh, you're in chat right now. Thank you for letting me know that. Don is uh, the person who notified me first about this whole thing going on. I was on the train heading back to my car, and uh, I saw a Twitter message pop up. And it's like, hey, Josh, have you seen this? And I, I watched the video, and at first I was, like, very skeptical. I'm like, no, this isn't real. I mean, there's no patch out, so it can't be real right somebody edited this but the more i watched nope. it then i was like wait a second no this this looks this looks like it can have, it could not have been edited like the effects were fantastic it was really really well done i can't wait yeah. to see it live <laughs> oh my god I mean, me and tim already had a theory out that like it was in since 2.2's release but they flipped the switch right now of course they did and you know what this is really exciting because you know what this means is that maybe we're gonna see even more when the beta comes out of beta and actually goes live and after all they did say in the 24 hour stream that winter is coming around now and winter is here with aliens. A, a lot of people, including myself and Obsidian Ant and, and I'm sure many other YouTubers who do Elite Dangerous stuff have all been sort of sitting here kind of clenching our teeth like, why is waiting there nothing coming out? Just waiting for something to happen. I mean, like, honestly, uh, as you guys can tell from my YouTube channel, I've kind of been avoiding Elite Dangerous because there's really not much going on right now. And I figured by this time of the year, they would have had something, especially for the holidays. It's a great time. People are home. I'm sure there's lots of people playing but you know nothing was going on so 
we've been playing other games. We've we've been bored and waiting for aliens and and just like and you are planning on playing a lot of other games too this year aren't you yes i am planning on playing a lot of other games in fact i'm i'm trying to work out a good format for the youtube channel just to you know to be able to cover the games that i want to play and uh bring them in a, in an entertaining uh in an entertaining and fashion if you ever want to play stellaris you don't think about it as a three hour live stream no um, I might start moving to less live streams and uh, maybe more like a edited live stream experience. But so basically, we're going. I'm I'm gonna record my gaming session with whoever it is that I'm playing with, and then just edit out all the boring parts and uh, turn a and three hour live stream into twenty minutes. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's basically what a lot of people have been doing. I mean. I, like... Don't get me wrong. I love the live streams. I absolutely love doing them. It's it's some of the most fun that I have when I'm playing is like having people in chat and and uh, you know being able to uh, to interact and and see what people want me to do in the game. Um, but you know, just for viewing purposes, uh, average view duration even on my three hour live streams is like twenty five to thirty minutes. And I know that there are some people that stay and watch the whole thing, which is awesome. You guys are great. I love you all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for just the average person who is watching the stream, uh, 25 minutes is pretty long. So I, I think that's what I'll be doing for the most part. Um, Jungle Boogie saying stream is still freezing a bit. I don't know why. I'm not downloading everything, anything at all. Everything should be running fine. Um, you should move to the usual YouTuber format, like 25 minute videos. What's that? Sorry? You, like, you should move to the YouTube format, 25 minute videos. Yeah, that's and it. And, like, one recording session, and you get three videos out of it. And you I, upload those. I, I think that's what I'm going to do, because right now I actually have tons of uh, captured footage that I've recorded of. Uh, not just Elite Dangerous, but Astroneer and uh, Diablo now is <laughs> going to be a part of that. And Basically. Osiris, New Dawn. Like, I have tons of footage that I just have to go in and edit. So I could very easily put out those videos. And honestly, it's so easy to do that. I mean, it's just as easy as doing a three-hour live stream. The only thing I have to do is find a good way to uh, sort of yeah. flag certain parts of the video so that I don't have to watch the whole three hours again in order to get back there. Um, we're only, I mean, uh, some YouTubers are just like cutting up the video and uploading it whole because they have stuff to talk about the whole time and it's done not boring yeah um of course the broadcast will always be a three-hour stream because that's just hey josh thing. yo mini uh what's your current jump range or are you on a ship yet are you I'm, still in route i'm just i'm on route right now i think i'm only two jumps away from my asp and then as soon as i get into the asp uh we're heading straight over to uh, pleiade sector you and maya to like go get a ua do you have a protected jump range on that from memory around 30 28 or so on the asp e i want to say probably like 25 to 30 i i don't remember what i have on this back okay. on this asp honestly my uh my anaconda with its com combat fit. I've still got four internal slots that are empty. I'm sitting at about 26.72. Shields are at about 3.7k, running fully modified weapons. All right, well, um, once we get there, we're, we're just going to do like one I jump at a time. And I do have an interdictor. Perfect. You should I don't go think on you're economic need it. road between two points like I do. Back and forth? That's the best way to get it. Yeah, on economic, I like plan out 30 jumps. Were you able to get more than one encounter, or did you just get the one? I just got one yet. After that, I hightailed it to Palin for Reapers and the Resistant Cargo Rex. Okay. Because the corrosion damage can be a bit... Raven Knight bad. joined the Hawk Flock. Thanks for the sub, man. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, if you just saw this pop up, I mean, certainly feel free to subscribe. Uh, we have plenty of live streams from Elite Dangerous and other space-related games on the channel here. And uh, I usually try my very best to cover anything new in Elite as soon as it happens. We have been very lucky on our live streams to be uh, some of the first people on some of the biggest discoveries. Uh, Shibuka is one of my co-hosts of the broadcast every Sunday. We have a three-hour live stream. Uh, and he was uh, the first one to discover one of the alien wreck sites, and we were first on the scene. We were also one of the first, and within the first few minutes on the um, the alien, uh, the alien, uh, what was that? The uh, the ancient artifact site, which was so awesome. That was amazing too. Oh my god, the alien ruins. 
Um, here, let me see. Where is the station that I need to go to? It's probably a big station. Edward Teach has joined the Hawk Flock. Thanks for the sub. Oh, I'm and Robert her, Renato. We're, we're missing Turgeon here to shoot down the Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> shoot it. Shoot the bloody Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> that's going to be the new soundboard file. For sure. I, I don't know if my wife has any clue what's going on. She's tried to call me three times. I, I'm, I'm half thinking like she's going to go, Josh, there's aliens in Elite. You should go cover it live. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not answering the phone because I'm doing the live stream. So I messaged her. I said, live streaming aliens in Elite. And she hasn't seen it yet. So she's like, oh, my God. And she's out of town right now. So she's probably like, oh, he's got some girl in the house. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a dog. laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I bet... No, no women here. Just, just us men. <laughs> well, one, one point seven percent women. <laughs> it's a where, funny where thing. Where the point seven come from? I, I have no idea. That, that's YouTube ad, uh, analytics telling me that. Uh, oh, one, okay. One point okay. seven percent oh. of my viewers are Josh. women. <laughs> Page up color. Pa page up color. What? For my anaconda, uh, I've got the squadron pack, uh, gold and black. Go with the black. Maybe I that. Mean, maybe the aliens won't see you. Nah. <laughs> you'll I'm just blend the aliens in with space. Space. You'll blend in with the background. <laughs> uh, Jack Jack Flames Gamer saying, "Let's just have a war." Well, if if Mini has his way, Jack, we will definitely have a war on our hands. It's uh, it, so bring. It is short notice, okay, guys. You know the the Federal Annihilator cannot make it out there with its uh, limited jump range capacity. It being a massive uh, fifteen light year jump distance, it's fantastic. Frogster says seventeen thousand light years to go. Where are you coming from, Frogster? Oh my God! Hey, Patrick McCaffrey joined the Hawk Flock as well. Thanks for the sub, um, Frogster. Where are you coming from? Are you coming from Colonia? Because um, who else was coming from Colonia? Oh, Tim's coming Tim. from Colonia. <laughs> Tim's like, I'm rushing back from Colonia right now. He's like, I've already done three thousand light years. <laughs> Poor thing. Everyone's like, everyone's like, where are the neutron stars? Oh. Where are the new? I'm trying yeah, right? to get like a better know how Taking to get the neutron the highway back. And poor Shibuka, who I'm sure just is cringing right now at the fact that he's got family over at his house. <laughs> oh and man! I told him. Isn't he she either. text him right now. Hey Shibuka, aliens. Yeah. Too bad you're missing it. Oh my god. So sad. I feel terrible that he's got family over. I know how I would feel if my family was over right now. I'd be like, ah, uh, listen, I gotta go. You guys have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave now. <laughs> please, uh, please, pretty please. <laughs> right, Josh, I sent you a wing invite. What's that? I said I sent you a wing invite. Oh, okay. Gosh, I'm I'm having a trouble. I'm having a hard time landing. So. I'm Sorry, multitasking. You know how I do that. Landing I only have one question. What is great test? Uh, where is gray test? That's a good question. Um, I'm not entirely sure where gray test is. He's not on Discord. No, yeah, he was not. Oh, did I literally just hit launch instead of? Oh, I gotta exit the station. You hit launch instead of. Mm -hmm. Good job, Dash. <sighs> that's the usual mistake. Yeah, that's a that's a noobkin's mistake right there. Oh. I'm in uh, Founder's World. There's so many commanders here. That's a good place. Oh, Robert McLeod says he has an artifact. If I want it, yes, please. Oh my God, that would save me so much time. I Robert. have one with me too. Oh, I know you have one with you. My own alien findings. Ooh, your own alien findings. Jacob D joined the Hawk Flock, and so did Alex Co. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the subs. And uh, make sure you guys come back here on Sunday, of course, for our broadcast every Sunday. Um, let me turn around. Pleadies, right? Uh, are we yeah. going to Pleadies? Or? Yes, we are going to Pleadies. Yeah. Okay, let's... Do you want to invite me to the wing? Uh, Mini, can you go ahead and invite General Ghost to the wing? Do you have him on friends? I nope. do not. Uh, how do you spell Pleiades? I got him. P-L-E-I-A. You can't spell Pleiades. <laughs> I don't explore, -E sir. I stay in the bubble. That's where all my materials and all my engineers are. Yeah, he's an engineering guy. Except Palin. It's P-L-E-I-A-D-E-S. Pleiades. Pleiades. Wait, so we're just going to Maya? Yeah, yeah, head to Maya. 
Yeah. That's a freaking short trip. Oh. Of course, you can go on economical if you want a long trip. Yeah, yeah, go for that. it, man. Atomic Unicorn, that was a good name. I like that one. Atomic Unicorn, join the Hawk Flock. Shoot the bloody hawk! Shoot the I'm bloody in hawk! Wait, I have a replica sword here. <laughs> that was okay. the your friend request. There, I just did the right one. Enter hangar. Uh, I feel like I should call my wife. I'm gonna call her on the live stream, just so that... Uh, so, so she knows I'm not completely ignoring her. Well, I go ahead and Josh, switch. Josh, did ships. you notice that you landed on Docking Bay 42? I did land on Docking Bay 42. Dun, dun, dun. Hang on, we're gonna get Commander Is Shannon Day on, on, on the live stream here. We're calling her right now. Hmm. If she answers, she, she's gonna she ignore me. She might be busy now. watching the stream. Uh, if she is. Hi, you're on a live stream right now, hun. Uh, hello, <laughs> everybody. Shannon Day here. Commander Shannon Day for everyone. Uh, there's uh, 212 <laughs> people watching right now. I just want to apologize for not answering your call before, but uh, you it... should apologize. You see, guys, listen to this man. This is what you got to do with your women. You got to call them and you got to apologize. <laughs> Love him good. <laughs> I just ignore the phone calls. There's important stuff and things, video games, aliens, Sorry. all that yeah. kind of stuff. I'll tell them about what? it later. She, she can't hear you guys because I got my headset on. Oh. So. Yeah, she, I can't hear uh, anything, which no. is probably a good thing. Yeah, no, no. The <laughs> um, okay, uh, so I'm just letting you know that yeah. I didn't answer your call, not because I was ignoring, but because alien contact has been made in Elite Dangerous, and uh, I am currently heading out there to find some aliens for all the viewers that are watching right now. All right. Well, no problem. You got bigger fish to fry. Uh, well, mm. it, that, if I, it, yeah, we're going to try and fry them. I don't know if I'll be able to fry them. I don't them. know if they're insectoid <laughs> right, or, or not. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'll talk Boy, to you later. Frogs. Bye. Bye. I will initiate a uh, an autopsy with my modified weapons. Okay, here we go. I've got uh, everything I need on this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of the uh, first class passenger cabins. Uh, I need a cargo rack. I do not need a field maintenance unit. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Detailed surface scanner. Oh, I need a wake scanner, right? Wake scanner. I don't need the detailed surface scanner either. Let's go ahead and grab... A wake scanner. Uh, stellar body scanners. Mm, scanning everything. Don't forget the advanced discovery scanner. What the hell is oh, a wake yeah. scanner? I've never bought a wake scanner before. Wake scanner, you scan the uh, high energy wake and, after ship yeah. jumps. Yeah, but where would it show up on this list? Oh, damn it. I don't think they have it. They might any not yet. have it available. Check uh, edd.io, see if you can find someone somewhere it's else. It's inside the utility slot, actually. Oh, you, uh, yeah, is it? it is a utility oh, okay. slot, utilities. Okay, that's why. Um, okay, that's good. Then we'll get rid of one of these heatsink launchers. And mm. there we go. Uh, I, I only scanner. need a wake Manifest. scanner when I'm doing Manifest data mine scanner. wake exceptions for oh, rate 5 frame shift drives. I'm, I'm going to grab a manifest scanner as well. We'll Maybe we'll see, see if it has cargo. If it has cargo in there. All right. Okay, let's grab that. Mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and grab the wake scanner as well. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm waiting for the part when I can get, like, a close-up of the jumping, because that's, like... Yeah, I I, it did look like a, some kind of spatial distortion when it jumps. The whole thing has spatial distortion cloud. on it. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, amazing turnout here, by the way, guys. Uh, I know you're all as excited as I am, so we're getting this started as quickly as I can. Oblivifrec has joined the Hawk Flock. Thank you very much for the sub, Oblivifrec, and uh, welcome. Um, it's not going to take us much longer. We've just got out to the ASP. I've only got about 300 light years, what, which in the ASP is not long at all. That's going to take me 15 minutes to get out to the Pleiades. I've got 15 jumps to Maya. Um, and mini kills on his way there already. General Ghost is already there, so we'll be meeting up with him once we get there. I am not bringing any guns on this ship, folks. Uh, Don't worry, I have a few on. This is a peaceful exploration vessel. <laughs> I'll keep the lightweight. Yeah, very peaceful. We're peaceful. We're, we're, I'm going to run them. That's peaceful. I'm an explorer. I explore the internal components of my enemy's ships. Yeah. <laughs> and see if you can use them for your own. I know that's what you do, Minnie. 
You sick bastard. I I usually explore the asteroid fields filled with pirates. Okay. And genocide them. So yeah, I'm an explorer too. This ship is ready to go. Infinity glitch. And you know what? Oh my god, I think we just hit 6,000. Yes! 6,000 subs. 6,001. Congratulations. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Nice. Congrats, Josh. Finally. I was hoping to do that for my birthday yesterday, which by the way, if you weren't here at midnight and whatever it was last night when I did a uh, completely impromptu Diablo 3 stream. Um, I uh, It was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to me. I know that many of you guys wish me happy birthday. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to go ahead also in the meantime, if you guys want to join in on our Discord channel, we do have a Discord channel for the live streams and for the broadcast that we do every Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the chat. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Set this link to never expire. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the chat for you all as well. There you go. There's the Discord link. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to join us in our Discord channel. And uh, there's chat going on in there all day long. Oh, darn it. I missed a couple more subs. Uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, my God. Why is that such a tongue twister? It's like a mouthful. Guybrush Threepwood. Um, That's actually the name of an NPC in Elite Dangerous, believe it or not. <laughs> that, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> not one I, bit. I met Donald Trump once, so nothing can surprise me now. <laughs> oh, you met Donald Trump, did you? Congratulations. In game. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. And, then, and he was wanted, so... Yeah. All right. I'm going to put the manifest scanner on one. I'm going to put the frame scanner, uh, the frame shift scanner on two. And get ah buttons. Stop. I'll, I'll be back in a second. You have to say it properly if you're going to say that, man. And I'll be back in a second. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll be back. Okay, no, you, you don't have to do it anymore. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> and Neural, join the Hawk Flock. Thanks for subbing. Oh, and Juice Mark. Juice Mark. And Ryan Vanderplog. That sounds like a Dutch name. Ryan Vanderplog. We have a lot of Dutch in the channel all the time. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and set a new navigation point here. And we're going to jump out. I guess we'll just jump to where uh, General Ghost is since we know that that's a good encounter point. So let's see if I could find the one that he's in. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are you, General Ghost? He's in the Maya system, M-A-I-A. -A. Oh, he's That's in Maya? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know what? Then we can just search it. It's much easier. Maya. Look at all those green squares. There we go. That ought to... No, he's not there. That's Wizard IRL. Uh, is he here? Commander Jonas? No. Has he moved? Oh, I have to meet up with Robert McLeod, too. Let me send him a message. Uh, Kieran Morrison, thanks for the sub. Uh, let's get Robert McLeod in here. Send him an invite to Wing and see which system he's in as well. AFM. Uh, will I need an AFM? Oh, I probably will. You're right. Because uh, the UA is going to damage my ship. So let's go ahead and grab You don't it. have a corrosion-resistant cargo rack? <laughs> Come on, Mini. I'm not you, the engineering master. I am. Uh, it's, it is a normal module that you buy from either Professor Palin or... Uh, what's her face? Is, uh, is it really? Drive chick. I, I didn't even realize. It holds two cargo, and it resists all corrosion effects from artifacts. Oh, wow. Well, see? What do I know? Um, hold on a second. I, I can hear, I hear voice, I hear voices. I think that we've got voice comms on. Is that Robert McLeod? That is me. Hey, Robert, thank you for, uh, supplying us with a UA. You're already where? You're in the Ares Dark region, right? Uh, I've just been Okay, yeah. Do you have, uh, wing chat online for that, Josh? Wing chat? Yes, he is in wing chat okay. right now. It's disabled for me. So. Yeah. Uh, well, ah, there we go. Voice comms. Ah, there we go. Voice comms. Oh, no. We're going to get some echo. Uh, Minnie, you might want to just keep yours off. And uh, Robert, you're in our Discord, right? Maybe I could just drag you down into our, uh, our, live, our live channel over here. Uh, yeah. You want to just jump into one of the, uh, the other voice channels and I'll drag you down? 
There you are. Okay. Let's close voice comms in the game. And uh, that way we don't get the echo going on here. I'll close voice comms, disable voice. And, uh, oh, darn it, I missed that name. Thanks to whoever just uh, joined the Hawkflog there. Sorry I missed the name. Um, okay. Jumps. Oh, Robert just got destroyed. Oh, no. Yes. What happened? Yep. Uh, got interdicted. You got interdicted? Yeah. By, by Thargoids? No, uh, by a, a commander. Oh, by a player. Ooh. Players, yeah. We might have to swap to private group. Well, we yeah, we could go to my private group. Uh, we could definitely switch over to there. I, I don't mind doing I'll, that if I'll you guys. Some more it's quite easy, but... Okay. Well, yeah, because you guys are out there right now, so you could uh, you could probably do that pretty quick. Well, here, let's go ahead and uh, before we head out there, let's go to the private group. It's probably a good idea. Um, okay, you guys, jump. you're I all in my private group already. I'm pretty sure that everyone here. I is... believe I will need an invite to that. All right. Um, the private group. Ooh, my ship's getting toasty. Flew too close to that sun. Hmm. You're pulling a Hawkins out of that. Eh. It's the Jay Hawkins private group, by the way. And anyone who wants to join the private group is always welcome to do so. This is where we do all of the events that we do on our live streams. Okay. So, uh, Zarksul just got here. What is the current happenings? Okay, Zarksul and anyone else who is just joining in right now, uh, there has been contact with aliens. And uh, we have just made it... Well, I've just made it to my Asp Explorer. I'm going to start heading over to the Pleiades right now because it seems to be around that area, around the Maya area. Um, I believe you need to have a UA in your possession in order for these things to actually grab you out yeah, of which space. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one yet. I don't know if it was the first guy didn't have one. As... Well, did he? Because we didn't see his inventory. He didn't we... say he had one on Canon, so I don't think he had one. He didn't say he had one? Yeah. We Leix and the Storm Stormer Starstreak have joined the off block. Thanks for the subs, guys. Um, Josh, we'll... I'll need a private group invite. Okay. Well, you can uh, you can send an invite to the private group. Yeah, I got the wing invite from you, General Ghost, and uh, Robert McLeod. Uh, if you want to jump into the private group, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, it's Jay Hawkins is the private group mini, so you could just send a, a request and I'll yeah. accept it right now. Uh, where I'm on there. Oh, we actually have a few. Cookie Rebel. How come Cookie Rebel no. was not in the private group? Yeah, Froggy, Sten, Arata, there's Mini Kill, yeah. Matt's Galaxy, Zerulix. Sweet. Okay. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and set that waypoint for Maya and start hopping over that way. Robert, it's a little hard to hear you. I'm going to turn your volume up in Discord. Yeah, I did that too. Let's go ahead and up your volume a little bit. That should do it. That's better. That's a little oh. better. You're just a bit quiet. Don't be shy, Robert. <laughs> yeah. I'm shy. I just got a good microphone. Don't be shy. <laughs> no, 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 no. We know it's not your microphone. Don't be shy. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, really. We are all friends here. Yeah, of course. We're bros, man. No, I'm just a bit annoyed about destroying you. No one is planning to kill you. <laughs> Except for Minnie. We don't know what Minnie's Except doing. Except for the aliens, maybe. Except for the aliens hey! and Minnie. <laughs> I'm not an alien. I'm just really weird. Okay, so what was I saying? Yes, first contact. Uh, it popped up, what, an hour ago, I'd say? Probably around an hour ago, someone uh, yeah. posted a video from Xbox, and uh, he posted this video of what looks like, you know, the parts of the crashed alien ship that we've seen in all the videos I've posted and everyone else has posted. Intact. And, yeah, <laughs> intact and flying around. And it kind of looked like a flower, which was really cool because, uh, you know... Turns jellyfish. It, a jellyfish. That's the official canon term for it right now. The, the jellyfish. jellyfish. Yeah, it did kind of look like a jellyfish. Uh, well, did you notice that the panels around the outside of the central core were actually shifting and moving? Yes. Yeah. And there was in an energy field? There was no actual something... physical attachments? Well, I don't know. Was there a physical attachment? It kind of looked like they no were all connected right at the very was... stems. Not mm -hmm. really. It was completely detached when I met it. Hey, NitroVids. How's it going, man? Um, okay, Elite Alien saying it wasn't, so maybe they, they, they weren't attached. I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't get a good look at it. We're going to get a good look at it. We're, we are going to it. find them. Okay, General Ghost, you had a good look? Was it attached? 
Uh, not really. Not really. I think hey, Josh. It's suspended by magic or something. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> While we're in transit, so people aren't just staring at people jumping, you think you could pull up the uh, the video to play on uh, OBS while we're in transit? I, so people can see what yeah, we're looking for? I could probably do that. Uh, it might slow down the transit of the jumping a little bit. because Yes, uh, but it will say people's need to know. But then they won't have to stick around and watch it. <laughs> yes, but well... <laughs> watching and and getting like a gist of an idea okay well getting well this is what i could forward do to it i, I and could, then me potentially getting blown up that's also i a could good show it stick around only if everyone promises to stay and 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 support us i You're think going to pull a shabunka. i you, think you can't trust people on the internet josh i think that the more people that are here the more likeliness we're going to have of seeing it, because I think one of the uh, one of F Dev's guys are going to be watching, and be like, "Oh, we better throw an alien at this guy," you know? Yeah. That's kind. Of that's kind of what I'm thinking. Right, let's throw an alien at Commander Josh Hawkins. Um, I'm hoping. I want to get an alien myself, so I can have well, my recording now. Nitro Depending on what happens, yeah, I'm getting my recording software spooled up. Nitrovids is a little upset that I have General Ghost in here right now. He's like, you got General Ghost in to chat with you? <laughs> of course, I am the fourth encounter of the aliens. That's right, Nitrovids. Uh, so General Ghost is in here right now because he has actually seen the aliens up close and personal. They touched him. Um... Yeah. Can you tell us again where did the aliens touch you? <laughs> they they probed you, on right? On the nose of my ship. <laughs> on the beautiful nose of my little Corvette. They probed him with their green probes, and um, yeah. now mm -hmm. he's pregnant. <laughs> General Ghost, are you Hungarian? Yes, I'm yes. hungry. He's very hungry. You know Aryan. what? I haven't eaten today. Thanks for reminding me, Josh. I raced home. I swear to God, I ate my food so fast. I didn't even finish. I ate part of my food, and then I came over to the computer, and while I was talking to General Ghost and Tim and a couple other guys in Discord, I was, like, eating my the rest of my potato salad with one hand and making a oh, thumbnail with the other hand. So, <laughs> yeah. it's like, hashtag YouTuber life, <laughs> making thumbnails all the time. <laughs> Don't show it. I need a reason to say. Stay says Hill Killer. Uh, I wish I knew how to make thumbnails. Dano Master says he's with me until the end. <laughs> the bitter end. Well, since it was my 40th birthday yesterday, uh, who knows? That could be any day now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start they making. They say you have twice as many. <laughs> yeah. How many jumps out are you, Josh? Uh, not that many. Not did I say not that many? Many. Many, many. Not, I know what you meant. Not you that, know, mini, not that many, many, many. Kind of hard to confuse the two, but yeah, I know what you meant. Not, not that many. Can I get a specific number other than many? Yes. Um, seven. Seven jumps from that's Maya. That's too many. Too many? <laughs> that's, that's three many. How do you know it's too it's many? It's nothing like the meme I put on Tim two days I ago. Got, I've got five uh, jumps to go. Five many jumps. Five days ago. Uh Josh, can I get re-invited to the wing? Uh, yes, you can, Robert. Here you go. Ring, wing invite sent. Thanks. Heading to HIP 17403 now. Good luck on first contact. Yeah. Thank you, Cylon. Froggy says he promises to stay long enough to watch Mini get blown up by aliens. Woohoo! So. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, my insurance on this ship is $25 million. I'm at $381 million. I'm very happy to sacrifice this ship if need be. <laughs> Absolutely. $24 million in insurance. So yeah. Wait, wait, how much? Bob Nasty joined the Hawk Vlog. Thank you very much for the sub, Bob. Uh, Gosh, well, 24 million credits of insurance. What was that, Robert? Uh, this... Could you close comms on? Oh, oh, yes. I just noticed the echo. Mm. Echo, echo. I think it would almost be faster if I used the Jumpaconda to get to Maya, pay for shipping for the Federal Annihilator, and then get it there, and then we can do shit with that. But yeah, I'll take the semi decently fit anaconda that I've got. Somebody's got to reach out to Turgeon. There's a lot of Kill the Hawk showing yeah. up in chat. 
No, uh, Mr. Beefkins, we have not found Thargoids yet. We are just arriving in a few more jumps where the aliens have been spotted. So we know they're hanging out in Witch Space. And uh, we don't know where exactly, but General Ghost found them in... Where were you? In the High Aids sector, you said? Yeah, on the UA bubble. Just like outside the sphere. UA bubble. Yeah. So uh, General Ghost is in the Pleiade sector right now. I'm heading over there. Mini is already in Pleiade sector as well. I'm jumping out of it currently in Economica route to get as many jumps as possible. I am heading... I'm in the Aries Dark region. Um, so I'm very, very close right now. I've got uh, five more jumps to Maya, and I'm just going to uh, have an encounter here with Robert McLeod, who's going to pick up some UAs. I'm going to grab one of those UAs, and then we are just going to bait the aliens out. Um, I'm going to drag the UA behind me, uh, attached to a hook and a string, and uh, see if we get any, any nibbles. Just paint my ship white and put green on it. They'll... They think that's an art artifact. Maybe we should get a probe, actually. Ooh, a probe and... They're much a... harder to find. Are they? Probes yeah. are insanely hard to find. Not really. I they know are. the planet to find them. Can't you find a probe down at the crash site as well? Nope. You have to be at an ammonia planet and be lucky, but they spawn fairly commonly. What's the name of the system with the unknown artifacts? HIP one seven four zero three. Um, let me check. It you know out. what? I covered that in my Professor Palin video. I should know that. Ah, uh, so many systems to cover. You know how many systems I've memorized uh, from Elite Dangerous? One. <laughs> uh, the ones with the UAs are actually in the Syophane sector, I think. The only system I've ever memorized: HIP one zero zero four nine. Great mining system. Anyone who oh, likes cool. mining, go there. Best mining system it's you solid. can get. Nah, I know a better one. <laughs> oh, I you, own. you think so? <laughs> yeah, I know a better one. I know a place where I can sell Fnatic for 74,000 per ton. Ooh, Mr. Miner. But it's only a medium landing pad, so sadly I can't go there with a T9 or something like that. Challenger160 says, can't wait to see what Blind Pew comes up with after this. Yeah, that ought to be interesting. Oh, God, I know, right? Oh, man, he just did an episode on the, uh, oh, is it the city or whatever it is? Oh, Dr. Kai just had an encounter as well. Good good for him. Congratulations. Josh, yeah. are you still directly in, in route from Maya, or are you taking a pit stop somewhere? No, I'm, I'm on direct course to Maya. Um, I mean, unless uh, Robert's already got a UA, I can jump over to him real quick. Yeah. And... Mm. I'm just arriving. Maybe having the recording going, like, scares away the aliens. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Mm. You Maybe they're camera know. shy. Yeah. Well. You never know. We don't know. Nine jumps. And, and we don't even know if these are Thargoids. I, I'm guessing Thargoids because they're octagonal, right? And, and which space? And which space? They pull you out of which and, space? I mean, that thing... In the video, looks like it's manipulating space around it. It has like that that same weird shimmering of space that the probes do and the UAs do as well, where it looks like space is sort of like warped around it. But well, when it jumped away, it was like tearing a hole in the fabric of the universe. Well, that's so, actually yeah. how the older frame shift drives worked. But the yeah. downside of those Not is the amount of time it took to actually jump epic. out of the rift. But it looked way epicer. Whereas the uh, the frame shift drives that we use now are technically modified Albuquerque drives. Of course, the capital ships still use the old drives. I have just yeah. survived at the crash site. And we okay, are, excellent. and we might get like the metal drives if that ever becomes a reality. All right, I'm one jump from Maya right now. I'm jumping in there, and I'm also one jump from Maya. Robert, how many jumps from Maya is that system? Seventeen four zero three. Two jumps? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Josh, Excellent. do you have an auto field maintenance? Because I don't have I don't think you have paid it unlocked. I do. I, I brought a uh, auto field maintenance with me. I don't have any engineers unlocked because I'm a newbiekins. I'm an explorer and a combat pilot, and my combat pilot is now my explorer, so 
But no, Josh, I have a great playlist that you should probably check out sometime. I have <laughs> checked out your playlist, Minnie, and I'm, I'm ready to go back and revisit it once I start doing the engineer stuff. So, yep. I would start on them in order on basically how I started uploading them, because if you follow that path, that'll chain upgrade everyone. Chain upgrade? Hey, Daddy well, Masters chain upgrade here. To, to unlock other engineers, except for, for a few minor tweaks. For me, the most painful one was Quent. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Alien? Yeah. Terminals. I'm just waiting until this whole beta thing is done. Once they uh, once yeah. they have that done and we know what the deal is with the you know all the components, um, I'll start up. Because before that, I was actually going to start, but then they said they're removing all the component requirements. I'm like, well, why would I start collecting That's stuff now? Not component requirements, just the commodities from the requirements. The commodities, the cargo that actually takes up physical cargo space, everything else because is Because they your... can't be... To be perfectly honest with you, you can't be asked to make a... Uh, like a... I don't know... Dry dock or something where you can put the commodities of the engineers. There's Commander Pelkatron, Danamaster, good to see you guys here. Hopefully you guys find some aliens as well. Everyone should find an alien. To um, interdict Josh or to not interdict Josh. <laughs> Kill him. Shoot I'm gonna do it! Shoot the bloody hawk! Oh, you... you... I have a to also want to probe. What? Uh, uh, oh. Let's see if I can uh, get out of this interdiction. I don't think I can, because you have a much larger ship than I do. That and larger ships class are harder to... Larger ships are harder to use in interdirection, though. Yeah, but isn't it isn't it about the mass of the ship? No. Nah. Oh, jeez, did I seriously? I just bounced off you after the interdiction. Well, at least you didn't, you know, die. <laughs> Yet. Woo! Hello, sir. <laughs> Five of the already shot him down. I pulled that maneuver off just right. Yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, I gotta go meet up uh, with Robert. So, uh, Robert, what uh, what system are you coming back to Maya? Uh, I'm just grabbing the probes now, so yeah. Oh, you're grabbing the probes. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to yeah, you. Is... I'll, I'll come uh, over to you and meet you in uh, HIP 17403. Okay. HIP 17403. Jacob Hayden oh, has joined the Hawk Lock. Thank you very much for the sub, Jacob. Okay, here we go. 17403, that's one jump away. You said two jumps. What are you flying? Yeah, That's... I made a mistake. <laughs> so this is an official team for your episode. So we can talk about team foil stuff. Tin foil stuff. Yeah, this is definitely a yeah. tin foil episode. Lots Tauris. of lots let of tin foiling happening. Let the theories roll. What what are we going to talk about? Tin foil. You know, I, I'd love to talk about the stuff that Shibuka was mentioning. Uh, he said that there's like some player faction that's coming under attack right now, and oh, I, yeah. I didn't get the to read the whole thing. Imperials. Ex Imperials. T I I Q yeah. or something like that. Yeah, that one. Should oh, some guys were saying that you don't need UAs to be interdicted. Oh, okay. I think the UA might just increase the chance or something. But I still have one on board. It might increase the chance, actually. Oh, Robert, did you already jump out? No, I'm sorry. It says you're in deep space. And... Alright, I'm, um, I'm gonna camp in Maya till you guys get back. Do you want just one? Oh, uh, sure. Or or two? I don't no, think it really matters, does it? Yeah, okay, I'll just take one. I'll, I'll just take one. That's all I need. General Ghost, you only had one on you, right? Yeah. Mao Zedong is saying that we don't need UAs, but we're going to take one anyhow, just to be safe, because I don't want to be jumping back and forth and not find an alien um, just because I don't have a UA on me. There's Matt's Galaxy. Hey, Matt. What's going on, buddy? Um, oh, I'm, bright. I'm in HIP. Oh, 17403. Wait, did I go to the wrong system? Steep. It's two very similar. Steep. Join the, the first hot crash side. Victor 41 joined the hot Wait, if you're going to the first crash side, that's kind of useless because it doesn't have any, like, UAs on it. Well, Robert's already got some UAs. Who's interdicting you, Ghost? Where'd you want to An meet NPC him? who's going to die a horrible death. Okay, no, I'm in the right system. Where'd you want to meet up? Um, well, why don't you come to the star? 
There's no nav beacons so here or anything, but uh, I'll turn on my, my wing beacon. Okay. And yeah. uh, I'll just go ahead and drop into, into regular space here. I'm like, what am I, 10 seconds? Uh, 19 light seconds away from the, the main star. I'm just going to drop into regular space. Okay. I will wait here. And then we'll grab the UA, and then it's time to start fishing for aliens. So if anyone's just joining in right now, a uh, very quick update. Uh, if you're just joining in, obviously, as you can tell from the... He's uh, trying to jump away. <laughs> oh. As you can tell from the uh, the the uh, UI I've got on here, Thargoid's first contact. That's right. Uh, the aliens have been finally spotted for and real. And picture, too. <laughs> that is General Ghost picture down there. That's right. Uh, that's what he looks like in real life. He looks kind of like a flowery, glowy. I'm an thing. alien. <laughs> he's he's really a Thargoid. I'm an alien. <laughs> he is an alien. Yeah. A, 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 well, I mean, if you came here, you'd be a, an alien, a, a, hung, a hungry alien. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, General Ghost already had an encounter with one. That is a screen cap that he took. So if you want a preview of what we're going to hopefully see very, very soon, uh, you can take a look at that little image down there, or I could actually pop up the thumbnail image one more time here. Let's go ahead and put that up. There is a little bit of a bigger image that you could see. Um, the Thargoid's first contact right over there. Very exciting. This is what he saw. This was what probed him really good. Mr. Squid, yeah. thanks for joining the Hawk Vlog. So he got probed by the giant alien flower, and uh, did it did it leave any Sounds seeds? Good. Did it did it drop its seeds? No. No. It, it cross pollinated his ship. <laughs> yeah, it may have cross pollinated with the humans. Where's Where's Elite Alien? Did Elite Elite Alien leave yet, or is he still in chat? Elite Alien, this is your time to shine, man. <laughs> this Family is... friendly stream, everyone. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jack Flames Gamer says he's going to kill a, a, a Thargoid. Uh, Wake uh, I can't think be the followed. Is going to kill you. Okay, hang on. He says Wake can't be followed, and they don't seem to care if you shoot them. Boo! Full script, uh, fully scripted. Well, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. That that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't shoot them, Mini. I don't know what you've got. You've got a special ship. It could be literally like a Thargoid killer. Um, they do jump away pretty quickly. There's Randall. Yeah, they do jump away pretty quick, but that's only if they're scanning you and jumping away, right? So what I think we're going to try... Gonna get, uh, instance, like, well, what we're going to do instance. is because apparently when you jump, they pull you back into the system that you, jump, that you jumped from. Oh, really? okay. So you're yeah. not actually... And I, this is a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. You're not actually in... By the way, General Ghost... Are you in? Where where the heck did you go? It says you're in Hyde Sector now. I oh told not not General Ghost. Sorry, uh, Robert McLeod. You must be on your way over. Oh, there's an yeah, NPC I'm attacking. About. Mini. Uh, I got it. Get to work. No, no, no. Get this to thing. work. Hey, <laughs> modified weapons. Would you like to taste them, sir? <laughs> I'm 500 light seconds. Ouch. <laughs> okay, Let, let's watch Mini do his thing. <laughs> do your job, Mini. Bodyguard. So, uh, Camo TM Mevo joined the hot flock, and Michael Leeper as well. Thanks for the subs, guys. Um, so, basically, when you get interdicted, uh, well, interdicted, I don't know if you could really say interdicted, it's more like pulled out of witch space. It is like a type of interdiction. It says the witch space is unstable or something. We'll see it when it happens here, because it's going to happen, folks. We're going to see the aliens. Um, but basically, I think the, the general idea is that you don't actually get pulled... My idea, the general idea. The, the general ghost idea. You don't actually <laughs> yeah. get pulled out of witch space in the middle of the two systems that you were jumping from. You get pulled out of witch space back into the system that you originated from, which means I'm assuming that you'll be in the same spot that you jumped from. I don't know. Do, do you remember? No. No? I don't. I think that'll be difficult to actually get working. Possibly. We don't know. Although Jenks is if they the would really well. pull you out of which space, then it would be like miss jumping and you could end up anywhere, to be honest with you. Yeah. Wouldn't I mean it? We, well, that would be kind of cool, though, if you just ended up in between yeah, systems, no stars or anything. And... Hello, everybody. Josh Hawkins here. Oh, aliens. Oh, I'm at Beagle Point. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's kind of like what happened to Jack, right? I mean, if you remember the story of Jack when he jumped. That was because of the 
UA bombing. Oh, there's... And the mal malfunction during jump or something like that. Yeah, well, it was a little little different. Okay, I've got my cargo scoop deployed. Uh, Robert, you can go ahead and drop a UA for me. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I am making imagine, a speedy return. Imagine right now the alien ship just comes in here and destroys us all. Yeah. Made some cryptic message. That would be pretty cool. All right, we got some cargo. Parides Castellano. Castellano has joined the Hawk Flock as well. Thank you very much. Um, all right, we've got... The egg is in the nest. The egg is in the nest. Or I should say the worm is on the hook. Commander yeah. Mooberry, wonder if it brings you back here. Yeah, wouldn't that be kind of cool, hey? Hey, let's try that. So here we are. Hey. I am going to just pick, um, I don't know, which one should we go to here? Oh, Alcyon. Okay, Alcyon, because I believe that is the Come biggest on. of the uh, Pleiade stars, the Seven Sisters. All right. 12.3 light years away. I will basically just do a little jump back and forth here. Let's see what happens. Mini? Here uh, goes. Should I follow you? Toxic cargo corrosion thrusters. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let, let's see what happens first. If I get pulled back to here, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Cody McCain has joined the Hawk Flock. Thanks for the sub, Cody. And welcome to the Hawk Flock. Where normally the hawk gets shot every single time. Come on, but first try. That is no shooting today. First try. Come on, aliens. Come on, Thorgoids. I've got a little one of your babies <laughs> in my cargo. It's not the first try because you already come here, so those are tries too. Well, imagine coming here and you get interdirected by aliens. They yeah, fair enough. Um, okay, no, no, no beans. No beans on the first try. Uh, let's just go to... No, let's not go to that one. Let's stay in the Pleiade sector. Let's go to this one. Let's try the next one and see what happens. I'm jumping back to the You can just speed. do economic group on. Uh, anyone know any Thargoid? Just so I can, like, maybe, like, open my comms and start talking Thargoid. Maybe it'll attract them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a universal <laughs> communicator yet developed. Oh, uh, Kuhod saying Mini's mic is a little hot. Uh, How I'll, does that sound? I'll go ahead and turn it down a little. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mini. Thank you for doing that. I just had to move my headset. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, close, get yet. close to my mouth. It, it's not his mic that's hot. It's his mouth. Mmm. Yeah, we've got a little hot mouth. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> You got a really mm. nice mouth there, boy. Mm. Why, why oh. don't you come over here? Um. I got something in my pocket for you. I got <laughs> something in my pocket for you. It's called a class 4 burst laser. My cell. <laughs> you looking I don't right care if your my cell. You've been working I don't out? care if your ship has protection. I got phasing sequence. Mm. A bunch <laughs> of drive <laughs> through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a bunch of sick, sick perverts here. Okay, we are ed editing this part out. <laughs> <laughs> like we've all been in deep space a little bit too long. <laughs> Thargoids are insect, or Thargoids are insects. Are they insects? We don't know. I think what I think they are slugs. What Frontier has said is that they want these aliens to be unlike any other aliens that we've seen. Well, like uh -oh. unlike traditional aliens, and so, so. and it does kind of look like their their ships are very different. Uh, you know, they've got that distortion around them. Josh, um, yeah. Doctor Kai got interdicted twenty four minutes ago at HIP one four four seven nine. HIP one four four seven nine. It's completely random, as I can hear it from now. Uh, Ryan says, Commander Josh, did you hear about the player who got a binary code from an alien encounter? No, I did not hear about the player who what? got a binary code. But you just reminded me to be recording this, so I am recording it now. Kowlin Doherty, join the Hawk Flock. You, you know, weren't recording! No, I, well, I mean, it is recording. It's, it's, <laughs> it's recording for YouTube, but it's not recording, like, the game. Uh, it's just recording everything. It's recording my, my interface and the chat and uh, all of this stuff. Uh, okay, so here, hang on one second. Let's go ahead and plug that one in there. What was the system again? HIP 
One... It's about 150 light years away. Oh, we don't want to go that far. Yeah, scratch that. Just jump around randomly, but someone I else think... said they got interdicted <coughs> in Maya. Yeah, hmm. uh, I'm pretty. So it can be anywhere. Okay, hmm. so you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna go. We're gonna take General Ghost's suggestion, and we're just gonna put this system here, just random, and we're gonna go economical, and then we'll just do a few jumps back and forth on oh, economical. I think that's the best way to do it. I won't have to worry yeah. about HIP 14479. Um, yeah, if it's 150 light years, then meh. That's a huge Oh, Dr. Kai was in VR. So lucky. My my, oh, my oh, Oculus yeah. is on the counter right here next to me, but it just it doesn't make for very good um, Stream. streaming. Yeah. That, that's the problem with it. It's just uh, you don't realize how much your head moves while you're wearing a, a VR headset. For you, everything looks fine just because you're looking around and your eyes just see everything balancing properly. But for everyone watching the stream, it's a little shaky. Uh, yeah. Or which a, HIP sector? It's, it's a lot shaky, really. Uh, it was HIP 14479. 14479. Yeah. Oh, that's this way. Okay. I wonder if oh, the alien is afraid of me because I'm in a wing. He's like, you're in a wing. I was in a wing too. Were you? Okay. Yeah. Mr. Wavy I DL has joined the Hawk Flock. Thank you very much for the sub, Mr. Wavy. Everyone was in a wing so far. <laughs> well, the first one, the very first one that we saw. He was um, in a wing too. He was in a wing, but he didn't didn't show up in a wing until halfway through the video when, when his UI came back up. Then it showed that he was in a wing. <laughs> UI came back up. Yeah. Well, you you see, like when he when he starts off, his UI is on, and then it turns off, and then it turns back on, and then he has a wing. So it was kind of weird. Magic. Yeah, it was kind of magic. I don't know Space if anyone wizard. else noticed this, but I commented on Reddit the second I saw it, is that his time moved forward by an hour. Oh, great! Ooh, I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! You've got one. Yes. Yeah, sh sh I want to get good recording. Oh my god, this is... Oh! Whoa... Oh! And someone is being interdicted! What? Shh! Josh, take me out of the channel. <laughs> okay. You can talk. Alright, I moved Robert out of the channel because he got interdicted by a Thargoid. The lucky bastard! Uh, I disabled satellite because it can be hard. It's okay. Hello, Mr. Robot. How are you doing? It's okay. It's going to happen, folks. We're going to see it right here on the stream. The aliens are here. Hopefully it's going to happen. They've my been... recording software is primed and ready. All I have to do is hit my hotkey. They have been among us for many years. And now yeah. they've decided to make an appearance. Oh, I'm really excited about what this means for the game. You know, as far as like what we're going to see with the patch. Because if they're doing this now, I mean, please, please, Frontier, if you're listening, please don't let this be the only thing that you show. All right? It's going to be the only thing they, ask, they will show. I mean, really, we love your game. We love everything that you've done. When you brought out the, the alien ruins and the crash ships, it's all awesome. And so many things happened. And there was like game, well, maybe not gameplay, but there was some, there was some lead up to it, you know, with the binary codes and, and the, the riddles and everything. And I don't want this to just be a scripted encounter that everyone sees the same thing. And then there's nothing else. That would be very, very sad. Attend to YouTube chat. Uh, what am I attending to YouTube chat? Oh, we got some... Well, hey, you know what? Spammers? Nah, just people being silly. Let's uh, just go like this. You can have a timeout, Swagmaster. No need to be talking like that. Uh, thanks for the heads up there, by the way. All right, I need to set another route. I don't know why people got to do that in a chat. It's it's so unnecessary. You're just gonna get banned. Track him back. Especially in this in in this YouTube, because like pretty much everyone that's on here comes on here on a regular basis, and we're all cool people. 
So no need for ridiculousness. If you're going to talk silly in the chat, you're just going to get timed out. And if you say it again, I'm just going to ban you. I do need a mod in here. My mods are all away. Shame. Well, we... Shame. It is a bit of a shame. Um, you don't have any more bros. No, Turgeon, Shibuka, and Greytest are all not here right now. I can't, I can't believe that. Yeah. And, Come and on. what's that? I want to say swervers for the aliens. <laughs> ah, I finally caught up to Josh, and then he's jumping. Damn it. <laughs> what time does Hello. alien appear? Oh yeah, uh, drag back, drag back Robert. He's done. By the way. Oh okay. I'll drag him back down. There you go. Come on, aliens! Come on. You know no, you want long. you want this tasty tasty asp. You want the tasty hawk. <laughs> you want this sizzly tasty hawk. Oh, you know what? Actually, I better turn my my game volume up. As a matter of fact, because uh, we want to yeah. hear this, right? Oops, not mm -hmm. graphics. Cancel. Wait, are you being caught? What's that? Have you been captured? No, not yet. I have not been captured, but I just realized I that. I don't if, think the aliens like the hawk meat. If if the volume is down. Yeah, I, I I greased up my hawk feathers and everything. <laughs> no, maybe they don't like grease. Alien ship looks like it's bending space and time around it as it flies. Yeah. I'll upload the DJ. Yeah. Hey, uh, Heiko. We uh, we also avoid politics. It's one of the things that we do not talk about in the bro bar uh, because there's we'll no there's no need to talk about politics. We all yeah. have our views, and uh, I'm sure that many people probably support whatever it is that you're saying. But absolutely unnecessary for this. Uh, there's there are, there are no presidents or queens or kings in Elite Dangerous. At the moment, um, only well, superpowers. Speak for yourself, <laughs> sir. Have you met me? Yeah, Minnie is a queen, so. <laughs> <laughs> queen, queen Minnie. Uh, it's, it still counts as royalty, damn it. <laughs> it sure does. We don't have to talk about politics. Politics talks. Politics make a joke of themselves. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> right. <Anyways. laughs> if you want to call me the engineering princess, I'm cool with that. <laughs> okay. As we long as you bow us. down before my superiorly modified ships. Gerwin Jones, we do talk about AI. Absolutely, we talk about AI. 100%. In fact, if you guys want to see some good AI stuff, you can definitely go check out Turgeon's channel. Uh, he's one of our mods and a good friend of mine and one of the co hosts of the Brocast every Sunday. Uh, his show, is, well, his uh, Elite Dangerous videos are all about AI. And uh, I have. A couple crossover episodes with him as well. I don't know if anybody's watched... Well, <laughs> if anybody has watched... I'm sure many of you have watched my Exploring the Milky Way Galaxy series, which is continuing. Yes, it is. Uh, it's it's actually in reproduction again, uh, just to let you know. Busy. Uh, so there there will be more episodes coming out. But if you haven't no checked out my Exploring the Elite Galaxy... Uh, <laughs> exploring... <laughs> Exploring the Milky Way Galaxy series on the YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to go check that out. Uh, there are currently 18 episodes of that. It's a uh, role-playing story-based uh, movie based in Elite Dangerous. Very interesting. And there are AI in there as well. Uh, mostly in the later episodes. Some interesting AI events happening in there. Come on, Thargoids! All right. We Apparently the uh, date you get from Sky the Week. The what? Sorry, it's hard to the hear you again, Robert, because I turned my volume up. Uh, the data you get from scaling the wakes that probes can be used in, like, engineer reprints. Ooh, interesting. Like it says that on the description, at least. Let me turn your volume up a little bit more so I can hear you a little bit better. Hopefully that'll help. God, that was, like, terrifying. <laughs> well, not terrifying, but... Heiko, uh, so yes, terrifying. we have... Amazing. We have heard of Dual Universe. That's a game that I will be covering on my channel at some point, possibly, Once. maybe, if they decide to remove the subscription fee. That's that's the only thing right now that's stopping me from playing it, is that I don't yeah. feel that a game that is still not released should be charging a, subs a subscription fee. I've never, ever paid a Whoa. subscription fee for a beta before, let alone an alpha. But Dual Universe looks really cool. Okay. Hmm. 
What if they are the Guardians? Yeah, Jeffrey Thomas. I, I mean, I have a suspicion that they very well might be the Guardians, but there is evidence that they may also be the Thargoids because uh, in the historic Elite games, the Thargoids have come in octagonal ships, and I believe even in this one, uh, they have, what, eight of those little petals or wings or whatever it is? Yeah. So, and even the central piece have an octagon on it, like where the ship's cockpit or something is. It's not an octagon. Yeah, we don't know if it's a cockpit or what it is, but it certainly looks like... Uh, it looks a little different than the crashed alien ships that we saw in, uh, well, the, the the ones that are currently crashed that you can see. Uh, yeah, it's intact. Karkaju! I was jumping to HIP 1769. Captured. HIP from the one. system you in currently. Okay, let me uh, let me go ahead and see if that makes any difference for me. I don't think it really matters. I have a feeling it that it's matter. yeah. I have a feeling that it's just uh, it's just completely Not random. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'll I'll finish up this uh, economical jump route here. You were you doing economical jumps? Uh, yeah, I was just jumping about randomly. All right, it's gonna happen. Everyone else is getting Thargoids. Thargoids. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you might have to jump to a one of the beams. Or a Sorry, my volume is too loud, Robert. You're gonna have to speak up a little bit more. I have a hard time hearing you. Uh, I think everyone that's done it so far has been jumping to B or A class stars. B or I was A class stars. To an M -class and they oh, well, yeah, no. The ones I saw were. Okay, you know what Damn I it, Josh, every time I get in system, I see your tail end and then you disappear. Okay, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. We're going to set another another route through the Pleiades. We'll go for this one right here. Oop, no, no, come back, come back. Let's go for this system My right here. That's an A. And go. There's a train right yeah. behind me. <laughs> yeah, I bet there is. Uh, keep your cargo hatch quite high repaired or you can drop your probe. Oh, artifact. good, good call. Thank you. Cargo hatch. Oh, it's at 99%, so I think we're good uh, to go. We still have got the uh, known artifact in there. All right, folks, let's go. Uh, there was a comment in there. Hang on a sec. What was, uh, where's the comment that I saw? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, um, Don Branham saying it could be the Guardians uh, or the race that build the uh, the runes. Very possible. That's very the possible. Ruins, I don't think. I don't think it's the ruin builders. That's most likely the precursors of every civilization that lives here. Besides, the technology and the architecture looks completely different. It does yes. look completely it's different. It's a precursor race. For sure. Yeah. Personally, uh, I think we're dealing with two separate races. Um, I believe that possibly the Guardians are going to be uh, more of an AI. AI leftovers. <laughs> hiding and waiting <laughs> for Thargoids <laughs> to come back. John Gwenzel Hello. says, John Gwenzel says, something in ED is governed by RNG? Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. I never I, heard about that before. I know. Shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> a little RNG. Hey, hey Fergus I don't know what y'all are living under, but I know. Yeah, RNG, not my friend. Thank you for the sub, Fergus. Uh, RNG is not your friend. <laughs> it's not your friend, buddy. Okay, 25 jumps back. That should be enough. Who do we I got am... here? Anaconda. Oh, the Cookie Rebel. Hey, Cookie Rebel, I found you. Tag, you're it. He's just chilling here. He's like, I'm not going to go. I, I don't have to jump. Thargoids are going to come to me. That's right. Well, let's check out Canon if anyone made any discoveries. I don't know what discoveries they could possibly make right now. They I mean, are fucking geniuses. No, yeah, that's true. They are pretty smart guys over there. Not going to oh, lie. Oh, Josh. What? It just occurs to me. Remember how they had that community goal for getting the data from the... Uh, Outposts or whatever on that planet, the alien ruins. Yeah. You think they're probably going to have something similar with uh, gathering weak data from Thargoid interdictions? Possibly so. Possible. Quite Can possibly so. That? Maybe tomorrow a mysterious Galnet headline comes up and a community <laughs> goal from the Federation and the Empire. 
and make the alliance. Saying we would like the data from alien wakes. I'll yeah. work for the alliance when they actually have ships I can buy. It's quite yeah. possible. It is very, very possible that could be requested. I mean, they've done it with almost everything else, right? Uh, the but alien the, artifact stuff. We have, to, we have to consider one fact that in the lore, the Alliance kept communications with the Thargoids and have a battleship, a Thargoid battleship. Where do they have a Earth Thargoid battleship? Yeah. So if they still keep the Thargoid communications, that would explain why they are so quiet about everything. Oh god, the next meta is going to be uh, Alliance Thargoid uh, Earth Race <laughs> hybrid ships. Yeah. Or Thargoid weaponry. I already have those, Advanced Plasma Accelerators. I will Remember say, those, though, the Thargoid weapons would be something that would be really cool. Um, I don't. I, I was really hoping at first that maybe we would be able to fly Thargoid ships, but now I'm starting to feel like, based on what that one looked like, I don't think we're going to be able to fly Thargoid ships. Those things are gigantic. They're well. They have smaller ones too, right? I I don't know which ones we've seen, mind you. But, well, we only seen one type, and three of those were crashed. Yeah, that's it. We've only well now we've seen two types because this one here this I think is, is a little different. Is it the same no, one though? It's the same one. It looks are quite you, similar. It looks similar, but there's something All else. All three on crash it. ships are the same. With Liam this has joined the hot flock. Thank you very much for the sub with Liam. Oh yeah, it looks like we are getting a bit more lag on the stream. Uh, don't well, know. with 300 and something people watching, yeah. Frequently, you yep. some kind of viewer is reducing struts. Yeah, uh, listen guys, if you could still hear, which I believe the audio continues to work and the video goes out once in a while, it's not my computer, I assure you, it's not the internet, it is just YouTube. The video will resume, so it did this a couple of times at the beginning, just give it a couple of seconds, video will pop right back up and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, just, just stay on the channel and uh, give it like 30 seconds. In the meantime, I believe you can still hear the audio, right? Lego my potato says can't hardly watch this. Well, don't worry, it's coming back. It's just YouTube has a weird compression, and uh, it gets bad when you're jumping in hyperspace, especially. Maybe you should switch to Twitch. That's usually better. Uh, these. Apparently not. Apparently Twitch is worse for streaming as far as quality goes. Um, well, Twitch only fucks up when you are like. An European and puts you on an Australian server. Whoa, Josh, you're down 118 viewers. Oh, view reduction starts working. Hang on, I I just gotta let people know that the stream is still alive. It's just YouTube lag. Hold on. Refresh the stream. That's what people are saying. Just go ahead and refresh it. Let's see if that works for me. Yeah, just refresh the stream. Oh yeah, some people are already wondering in canon if it's just a once per player thing. Yeah, that's a good point. It, it's YouTube oh, no, that's doing this. I no, don't know someone why. Someone being interdirected twice already. One time only thing. Good it doesn't seem too rare. Um, refreshing on the same part. Oh, what the hell? Way to go, YouTube. Hmm. Hashtag ruins I'm wondering if uh, they can still hear me. I'll, I'll put the stream on. It's as frozen as Canada, says Todster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was good. Um, I could restart the stream. I mean, it's working fine on my phone. I don't know why it's frozen, though. That's weird. I've never had that problem before with, <sighs> with streaming. YouTube is magically being an arse. Yeah. Let's see, is my encoding yeah, is every still... Every time I refresh it, it just pops you back in a super cruise in between two planets and then freezes. Okay. It works fine on my phone. 
Yeah, maybe everyone should watch it in the phones. Exactly. Or lower quality. Maybe that's... Maybe YouTube can't handle the intensity of jumping from system to system. There's like know. a convoy of you and MIDI just following each other. It's quite funny to watch. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I can go ahead and restart the stream if uh, it's if it's not coming back up. I would probably do that. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put it here. Stream, restarting. Oh, well, that's, <sighs> that's a bit disappointing. Uh, <sighs> All right, guys, uh, we'll go ahead and stop this stream and restart it here. Hang on just one sec. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully this fixes it back up. Hey, everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins back again. The stream had a little bit of technical difficulties. We don't know exactly what happened, but it seems to have gone down, and I'm hoping that restarting the uh, OBS is going to fix the stream and bring it back up. Uh, let's see now. I have restarted something over here something something I don't yeah. know what I have to see if I can get it working again well stream is broken that that really sucks I had over 400 people watching and the darn stream <laughs> Maybe decides that's the problem it's YouTube time to saying, die <laughs> YouTube was saying you have too many people watching there Mr. Hawkins yes we can't have Better this many people stream. watching yeah. Okay. Uh, is it working now? Let's see. No, I it's... just refreshed the stream and it's back to where it was. The exact same thing, right? Exact same part, yeah. <sighs> That's really so we weird. We're talking all this shit here for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. All right. Yeah. Hey everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins, possibly back once again. <laughs> Oh, it shit. says stream live. Oh, there we go. I think the stream's back on. All right, well, if we apologize about that. Technical difficulties here, thanks to YouTube. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we are back. And let's see if we can get back up to the 400 viewers that we had watching once more. Because now what's going to happen is darn YouTube broke the channel and we're going to get back. I'm going to jump one time and of course <laughs> the aliens, aliens are going to The come. stream dies. <laughs> oh, the wait. aliens come and the stream dies. Wait. Is, is the stream died again? I think so, Josh. You know what? Let's just record it and then put it up. I don't know. What the hell is going? These darn <laughs> the Thargoids are jamming the stream. Why? Thargs ruining the stream. You are not allowed to complete your transmission. You oh, are not man. allowed to complete your transmission, yeah. This is a uh, horrible German. Mildly frustrating. Josh, you should check your cargo hatch. Damn YouTube. Yeah, yeah maybe YouTube is in your cargo hatch. Um, okay, checking my cargo hatch. It's at 94%. Should be okay at 94%. And I think it drops out to 80%. I'll, yeah, I'll repair it anyway. Like oh, okay. Wait, the stream's back up? No, it keeps, it keeps like, going down. It's, it's buffering or something. I don't know what it's doing. I think it might be the late time, like, YouTube doesn't like it or something. And close either that or it's just is prime time, you know, seven, eight o'clock, everyone's using YouTube. I don't know. I, off, again. I don't know, folks. Uh, we apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. It seems like YouTube or something is uh, is causing the stream to have a few difficulties here. Um, it's not on my end. My computer is running just fine. Uh, looks like my OBS is broadcasting just fine. I don't see any problem with OBS or the speed that it's sending out the data. I could increase the amount of data that it's sending out, possibly. Mm, that's I could... not the problem, I think. My, my max bit rate is at 5,000 kbps, which should be more than enough. I could bump that up. I'll put it to 6,500. Why the heck not? and see if that makes any difference at all. Um, right now it seems like it's okay. We're, I'm gonna go with okay. All right, we'll start jumping again, and uh, uh, I hope it doesn't freeze up. This is, uh, is it? Check the stream out. Wear a tinfoil hat, <laughs> says Mr. A. Mr. Oh, yeah. 
Mr. E. David? Mr. He David? All right. We're back up and running, folks. Cross our fingers that YouTube does not decide to kick us out again, because uh, this is exciting times for Elite Dangerous fans, and we want to find aliens. Uh, I'm happy to see that many of you came back. Thanks for sticking with me here. I know that uh, YouTube woes like this can be a little frustrating sometimes, but uh, it looks like it's running. Just keep letting me know if you do see any problems with it. I do want to tell you, though... Oh, here it goes! Here it goes! Oh, what? What? Okay, shh, shh, shh. Oh my god. Here it is. Okay. I don't see any alien yet. I cannot go into debug it takes camera. Quite a while. I hear it though. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. I think stream is down again. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That thing is massive. Oh, they're going to see it in the stream in just a second. Yeah, I'm watching the stream too. Stream's locked up. On mine? Oh, no, no, it's, it is. it's happening on mine. I prefer to on stream. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, keep it down. Shh. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta see if I can catch up to it now. Oh, it's over? I gotta scan it. Yeah, the stream is horrible. Oh, it's not horrible. Come on, am I gonna get a manifest scan? I did. Oh, darn. Okay, I wasn't able... I, I got the manifest scan, but I wasn't able to see if anything was there. Don't forget to scan the wake. I am gonna scan the wake right now. Oh, there it bloody is. And on the phone it works perfectly. You good, Mini? Okay, I'm Mini? scanning the wake right now. The stream keeps freezing. How it's, it's terrible is that? Stream is it's a PC problem. Can watch it perfectly on my phone. Okay, I was able to, uh, I was able to scan it. Oh, Stream yeah. on Twitch, yeah, I know. Apparently, oh, I'm gonna let them know. On mobile. It works better. Still buffers a bit, but yeah, it freezes over that much. Same on me. Oh wow! Well, that yeah. was. Amazing, you sent it. That was pretty amazing, I gotta say. Um, holy crap, you can't kill it. <laughs> yeah, it like, I now just want to record the full encounter. Yeah, I, I recorded the full encounter, of course, with us talking in the background, so that's that's going to make it a little off. I have mine recorded as well. Okay, uh, they're saying even on mobile it's lagging. It's I don't know why, there's something wrong. Being YouTube... Okay, guys, I will I will post this later. Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna even try to go and do this one more time. Um, I'll I'll do it without uh, without people in the chat as well. So it, it'll I'll get like a proper recording, and I'll, I'll have a video uploaded as soon as possible. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's 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 not the stream. It's it's YouTube streaming that's having a problem right now. It, it can't be my my PC because there's no problems at all on my PC and my ISP is reporting fine. I just did a test on it, so I don't know what's going on. It's something between me and YouTube, for sure. I don't know why. It's really really unfortunate that uh, 
It's there. I could see it frozen on the YouTube stream right now. I don't even know if people can hear me. I'm going to head off then, Josh. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I, I'm sure that it, the, the stream's going to catch up a little bit, and people will probably hear this right after. So... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and find another one, guys. I will uh, get this uploaded as a proper video. I'll have a video up on my YouTube channel within the, within the day. Um, I don't know why the YouTube stream is lagging out. I don't see anything wrong on this end of things. Hardware-wise, uh, network-wise, everything seems fine. So I do apologize. But that was freaking exciting, and I'm sorry it was ruined by the darn YouTube stream. Thank you guys all so much for being a part of that and, and supporting me and watching the stream while we're doing this. I know, fire now, fire now. I wish I could have shot at it. The stream is really lagging behind right now, too. I, I can't even tell how far it is behind because I, it shows live, but it's definitely not live. This passed quite some time ago. So I apologize for all the stream problems, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go find another alien. And thanks for all the subs, guys. Thanks for all the support. I hope that uh, this does not happen again in the future. Um, whatever the problem is, we'll try to figure out what the heck is going on. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream at this point. I don't know how much longer it's going to stream. It'll probably stream until the end of the, uh, the broadcast. And uh, check back here shortly for another video that's going to go up, a, uh, just a regular video that's going to pop up with uh, the alien encounter. Uh, General Ghost, Mini Kill, and Robert McLeod, thanks so much, guys, for, for everything. Thanks for joining. And uh, no yeah. this is Commander Josh Hawkins signing off.